my brother and my sisters. Thanking Yahweh for another day. Thanking Him for you and for this opportunity. Thanking Him right now for strength. Thanking Him for His goodness. His kindness. Father, we thank you for this another day. We praise you for your greatness and for who you are. Thank you for those right now, Yahweh, who are listening under the sound of my voice. Bless them right now. Touch them right now by your power and by your spirit right now, Father. Give ear to those, Father, who have reached out this week. Move by your power and by your spirit right now. You know the situation and the circumstance. Give ear, give ear, give ear right now. one right now, Father, looking for a way to be made. Open the path right now, Yahweh. Strengthen right now. Yahweh, for there is no one like you, Father. We bless your name. right now, those right now who are discouraged, lift them up right now, set them on that mountain, Father, that they may see your goodness and your greatness right now. We lift our eyes toward the hills, both cometh our help, knowing our help coming from you, Yahweh. Father, you are the one who made heaven and earth. Yahweh, another week you brought us through. With so much uncertainty around us, Father. So much unrest. Thank you for sending your son Yeshua down that we might have a right to the tree of life. Thank you for sending the royal Hakadash Yahweh, the Comforter, who've come to live and to sup with us and to lead us and guide us into all truth. Thank you for your truth today, Father. Thank you for continually opening up the eyes of our understanding of Yahweh that there may be enlightened according to the grafted word of your truth. We seek you today right now, Father. We come to you asking that you will look down upon your servant. Bless Bishop Woodbury right now. Look down upon him, Father, and strengthen him right now. Yahweh, continue, Yahweh, to shower down your blessings upon him. 
Yahweh, your servant who's been on the wall for many, many years. Look down upon Mother Woodbury right now, Father. Stretch forth your hand of compassion and touch her right now. Strengthen right now. Give ear, give ear to her supplication and her petitions right now. Continue to strengthen her body and her mind right now. We thank you, Father. And Father, bless even right now. Dig and Joseph Otis right now, Father. Stretch forth your hand of compassion. And Yahweh, continue to strengthen and touch his body right now. Send help right now, Father. Send your healing virtue by it. We know you can and we know you will do it. You say, ask anything in your name and you declare that you will do it to the Father, to the edify and the Son. Father, edify and build digging all this up right now. Strengthen him right now in Yahshua's precious name. Touch those legs right now. Touch that back right now. And Father, we pray right now for our dear sister, sister Patricia Saunders Nixon. Yahweh, touch Pat right now. Father, stretch forth your hand of compassion and look down upon her right now. Father, touch her body. Yahweh, your servant, moved by your power and by your spirit. Heal right now, Father, in Yahshua's name. Look down upon Ella David Maven right now, Father, moved by your power. Continue to strengthen his body. Stretch forth your hand, Yahweh. Continue to lift him up, magnify. Oh, Yahweh, let him magnify you, Father, in spirit and in truth. Your servant, Yahweh. Been on the wall for a long time, Yahweh warrior who stood for you over the years. Bless him right now. Strengthen him right now, Father. We thank you. And look down Yahweh upon our assembly family. Bless each family, each one name by name and one by one. We thank you for the assembly families throughout the world. You're awesome, Father. There is none like you. We bless your name. And Father, we pray right now that you will look down upon our youth. Strengthen them, Father. Keep them in your loving arms of protection. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. By your power and by your spirit. Thank you, Father. Edify, lift them up. Encourage their hearts right now. Give it to their petitions and their supplications. Encourage their minds.
Yahweh is good all the time. We praise him for his goodness, for his kindness, and for the multitudes of his tender compassion. And we thank Yahweh today for all of you who tuned in. We bring you greetings from the Refuge Assembly of Yahweh in Norfolk, Virginia, located on 2808 <coughs> Granby Street, where Bishop E. W. Woodbury Sr., a senior pastor, and yours truly, uh, Pastor E., his pastor. We have ministering brothers, Elder Ronald Green, Minister Daniel Belcher, and Minister Eric Butler, who serve in the capacity of associate ministers there, and Elder Green, our Friday night scripture lesson teacher and instructor, and we thank Yahweh for all of the brethren, and just want to give them a shout out today and to say we miss you, we love you, we praise Yahweh for you, brothers, and continue to be steadfast and unmovable. Continue to encourage the body of the Messiah in all that you do. May all the families of Yahweh be blessed today, and we pray that you will receive something from the word of Yahweh today. We certainly are happy to be with you once again and want you to continue to pray for us, that Yahweh will strengthen us and certainly keep us in his loving arms of protection. I'm thankful today for <clears throat> all that Yahweh is doing and all that is marvelous in our eyes. You know, as we continue to make adjustments in this whole different life that we've been presented with this COVID-19, lives have been interrupted. Countries have been interrupted. The world itself has been interrupted. But Yahweh is still faithful. And he's still sitting on the throne. I want to ask that you would pray for us today. And to continue to keep us <coughs> lifted up. In prayer, we praise Yahweh for another opportunity to sit with you today and to share in the word of Yahweh. We thank him for the many comments and words of encouragement that you've given of our YouTube channel. And thank Yahweh for all the ministries of helps in our assembly family. Thank Yahweh for Sister Kim Jonah, Sister Margaret Woodbury, and and Brother Abraham Johannesson, three great warriors in the body of the Messiah doing an outstanding job. And we praise Yahweh for you. I want to encourage you to continue what you're doing for Yahweh because only what you do for Yahweh is going to last. You know, as we look around the world and we see the culminating events taking place, it certainly behooves us to lock arms and to Continue to encourage one another and to realize in which time and what time we're living. Because we're living in the last days, beloved. Truly living in the last days. And evil men are going to wax worse and worse. And we have to grow in the knowledge of Yahshua HaMashiach, our Savior. We got to have this word deeply embedded in our hearts that we can continue to pull from those resources, <clears throat> from that spiritual bank, and to ensure that in the time of adversity, that we're patient, we're steadfast, and we're unmovable. As I look around and see the culminating events taking place, the stage has been set. And as we look, 
we can see the world getting ready to usher in various different events that are going to unfold and lead to the coming of the Messiah. As we're watching the daily news, we're seeing the the protesters and the marches that are going on around the country. Regarding the racism that's prevalent, not only just in this country, but in the world. Which racism for the actual truth has been with us since the days of Isaac and Ishmael. It's nothing new under the sun. Brother has been against brother for years. It's amazing how we are separated by the color of our skin instead of the content of our character. But this is a campaign that the enemy, Satan, instituted thousands upon thousands of years ago. And we are still dealing with it today. But there's even a greater force that's lurking now in our modern day. And much of it is being orchestrated by the powers that be in high places. As you think of a puppet, (coughs) a puppeteer, many strings are being pulled today. And the plans are being put in place. I'm not offering any conspiracy theories today, but I do want to say that there are current events that are in place that are going to usher in things like martial law, the microchip, a cashless society. Just the other day I heard that the big Walmart chains are in the process of doing away with a lot of their cashiers and they're going to have these checkouts where you can go in the store and check out. You know, we've been desensitized for years now with the barcode system where you can scan your product and it seems to be effective and very efficient as we have been led to believe. But it's also a part of a bigger plan coming down the road. The scripture talks about the anti-Messiah who will come. The scripture talks about even the mark of the beast that will be a part of the events to come very soon. It behooves all of us to know what the word of Yahweh says and to get our houses in order. And to make our mark and election sure, beloved. For Yahshua is soon to return. And we got to be ready. We got to be ready, my brother, my sister. We got to be ready to meet the king when he returns. I want to share with you today, out of the book of Colossians, I've been there before, but the Apostle Paul, servant of Yahshua, writes in the second chapter (coughs) to the Colossians who were at Colossian. He speaks to them on this wise, starting at verse 1, chapter 2. I want you to know how much I am struggling for you and for those at Laodicea and for all who have not met me personally. My purpose is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding. 
in order that they may know the mystery of Yahweh, namely Yahshua HaMashiach, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I tell you this, so that no one may deceive you by fine-sounding arguments, for though I am absent from you in body, I am present with you in spirit and delight to see how orderly you are and how firmly your faith is in Yahshua Messiah is. He says, for though I'm absent from you in the body, I'm, in, I'm present with you in spirit and delight to see how orderly you are and how firm your faith in Yahshua is. And I want to talk about that today. A firm faith. Firm faith <coughs> in Yahshua. I ask that you would continue to pray for me with this nagging cough. It's getting a little better, but Got a little ways to go. We've been doctoring as best we can. And I want to thank Yahweh for all the prayers from all the believers and all the words of encouragement. How firm is your faith in Yahshua HaMashiach? The scripture says, building up your most set aside faith. You know, when you think about the time in which we're living and all around you, people are losing their hope their confidence, their trust. We've learned with the last few series of messages that we've spoken <coughs> that we got to continue to store up keep our feet on the path of righteousness hold fast to the truth Hold on and proclaim the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and our Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh. In a day and time where the word has been manipulated, in a day and time where there are a lot of good back-scratching preachers out there who sound good, but when you listen closely to what they're saying, they're tickling your ears, but they're not saying anything. The word of Yahweh has already been established and is firm. The foundation is already stable. And we got to stand on what the word says. You know, in lieu of all that's going on with systemic racism and unrest and police brutality and all the ears of the world and COVID-19 and trying to stay safe, having to leave our house now to wear a mask and wear gloves and to be careful where we stand, where we are, what we touch. It's a world of uncertainty all around you. And if you don't know the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, it's a frightening place to be in right now. But what's encouraging is to have brothers and sisters to encourage one another and to say, hey, bro, hey, sis, continue to hang in there. Be, be encouraged. Yahweh's got your back. Yes, he does. He has our back. Yahweh is faithful and he is going to Continue to be faithful. He said in his word, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor my seed begging bread. We have to believe and know that Yahweh is going to make a way for us. He's going to take care of us. And we don't have to sit there and worry about how a way is going to be made. Yahweh talked about his son, Yeshua. And we remember the story regarding the the birds of the air not having a nest or having anywhere 
to go out and, and find food, but Yahweh would always prepare for them. How the Son of Man had nowhere to lay his head. The birds of the air, they, they would go out every morning looking for food. Yahweh would make a way and provide food for the birds and for the sparrows and for the fowls of the air. And you think about building that relationship with the Messiah. Yahshua the Messiah becomes our closest and best friend. Each day of our life, each day that we walk, we talk, we get up, we breathe, it's another day of thanksgiving. To say, Father, thank you for this, another day that you've allowed me to see. And as you look at the word today, as Paul is encouraging the Colossians in the second chapter, you know, growth is a wonderful thing. But growing in knowledge and understanding is even far greater. You know, when you think of the richness of knowledge, knowledge is power. And to have the knowledge of the word of Yahweh is far, far greater than any riches this world could ever bestow upon you. Knowing that Yahshua the Messiah lets us know he will never leave us or forsake us. He's going to be there for us in the midst of COVID-19, in the midst of uncertainty, in the midst of financial difficulty, in the midst of sickness, in the midst of all that's going on. Yahshua is going to be there for us. And he says in encouraging our hearts through his vessel, the Apostle Paul, he said, though I'm absent from you in body, I mean, I'm present with you in spirit and delight to see how orderly you are and, and how firm your faith is in Yahshua HaMashiach. How firm is your faith? You know, the believer, the warrior of Yahweh, has a certain kind of mentality. We are faith soldiers. We eat, we sleep, we walk, we talk faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. We are children who walk by faith and not by sight. Faith is what we are engulfed in. When Yahweh sees us, he sees children of faith. The scripture says, without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh. We have a firm confidence. Paul said, I know in whom I believe. Who do you believe today, brothers and sisters? Yes, COVID-19 is around us. It's out there. But Yahweh is going to make a way for his children. Yahweh has already established and placed our feet on a firm foundation. We know that Yahshua is going to protect us and keep us. As I have encouraged you <coughs> in the past and will still continue to encourage you as you go out in the public, please wear your mask. Please be conscious of your surroundings. Sanitize and make sure you wash your hands. Be cognizant of where you are, who you're around. Be respectful of one another. And continue to let the light of Yahshua shine in your life. Even in the midst of all the uncertainty and, and some hopelessness for those who just don't see another way, we can still offer words of encouragement. What a beautiful thing, a child of Yahweh in a supermarket, on the street, passing a stranger. And we can say good morning, good afternoon, hoping you're doing well. Just remember, Yahshua loves you. And he died for you. 
You know, when you think about this firm confidence, this firm faith that that Shaw was talking about, <coughs> as I read various different passages in the scripture, Paul and Peter and Timothy, they had their challenges during their time. They had their pandemics, and pandemics, not always viruses, but they had persecutions, they had struggles. They went through some difficult times, even to the point of death, where they lost their lives for the namesake of Yeshua HaMashiach. But they stayed firm until the end in their faith. And I want to encourage you today, continue to stay firm in your faith. How firm are you now? What's your conversation? Listen to your talk each day. Yes, COVID-19 is around us, but Yahweh is still on the throne. Many of us are trying to figure out the next steps. As I see states all around the country opening up, trying to get back to some normalcy, but forgetting that in all that we're trying to do, this COVID-19 is still out here. It's real. And we have to be wise, <coughs> wise soldiers in the army of Yahweh. I'm thankful for the word. I'm thankful for how the word has been tried in the fire over seven times. It's gone through. It's a firm foundation that we can rely on and hold on to. There are words of encouragement in here that will sustain us and keep us and protect us and give us the confidence that we need. Even those right now who are going through difficult times, some's on the beds of affliction, some going through healing right now, the healing process. I want to encourage you to know right now that Yahshua has everything in control and it's by his stripes that we are already healed. You claim your healing right now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. He's already paid the price. He said by his stripes, we're healed. And you tell that enemy when he comes to combat you and to try to seize your thoughts and to try to come in and take over your mind that the blood of Yahshua is against him and you rebuke him in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. He got to go, brother. Sister, he got to go. For the name of Yahshua, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess one day. We're standing firm. We're standing firm in our faith because we know about without faith, it's impossible to please Yahweh. Strength comes in faith. Our hope, our confidence comes in faith. Faith is the backbone that props us up, keeps us going. It's impossible to please Yahweh without it. How do you establish firm faith? Each day of your life, take an opportunity to exercise your faith. How do you strengthen faith? Well, first of all, when you think about exercise, doing sit-ups, which is a pretty tough exercise, is strenuous on your stomach. But after a continuous number of sit-ups, or reps as they're called, you begin to feel a tightening in your stomach. And over a period of time, you will develop muscles, which they call abs. And the stronger they get, the stronger you'll get. And you know, when you think of wavering versus firmness, Yahweh can't deal with instability. He can't deal with a sometime believer. 
We believe him today and we doubt him tomorrow. Firm faith is confidence in Yahweh through difficult times. How to strengthen your faith? No better time than now to strengthen your faith in the midst of adversity and tough times. Yes, COVID-19 is here. It's prevalent in our society. It has changed our world. It has taken what we know as normalcy away from us. But the good news is there is one who sits on the throne and there is his son, Yeshua HaMashiach, sitting at the right hand of the Father who is a propitiator and a mediator for us right now. And all you have to do is stop where you are, my brothers and sisters, and just give him your petitions and your supplication. You're not alone. Yahshua is standing by waiting to hear your petitions. Tell him what's going on in your mind, in your heart, in your life. Yahshua is standing there to listen. He loves you. He died for you. We have an opportunity now to establish that firm faith and confidence that the Apostle Paul is talking about. You know, when you think about encouraging one another, encouraging the hearts, and we're all united in love, our love for each other now should grow even stronger. Yet we're absent from one another. The greatest contribution that we can give each other right now during this time of separation, during this time of normalcy interrupted, is encouraging each other in the spirit of love. That could be a text. It could be an email. It could be a phone call. But you know, unlike Paul, in Paul's day, they didn't have cell phones, didn't have social media. Paul's letters would be written and oftentimes they would be carried by various different brothers in the faith to an assembly. And most of the time, these assemblies were not church buildings like we have today. These were houses where believers would gather and strengthen and encourage one another. And you know, encouragement is a tremendous attribute that Satan wants to keep away from the ch children of Yahweh. He wants believers to wallow in fear, in doubt, in hopelessness. We have an obligation, beloved, to each other to encourage each other in the spirit of love. I want to unite you today, as Paul says here in verse 2. My purpose is that they may, they may, that may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of Yahweh, namely Yahshua. Do you know that our strength is found in encouraging one another. When you encourage another brother and sister and you give them strength, you in turn will receive strength from Yahweh and fulfillment from Yahweh through obedience of trying to support <coughs> your brother and your sister. The riches, the richness of Yahweh becomes quite evident in our humble submission and love for one another. It is important now more than ever that we grow closer to each other in love and encouragement and ensuring that all of us understand what time it is and what time we're living in. You know, when you think about complete understanding, you become complete. We become complete when we unite and we look out for each other. Let's not be slack in our encouragement. Let's continue to be faithful. Our strength is in numbers, and those numbers 
are lifting each other up, both in prayer, both in word, and also in deed. Indeed, text, email, call, encourage, inspire, lift up. Yahweh will be well pleased as Paul is trying to encourage the children at Colossians in this chapter. There's growth in the knowledge of Yahshua HaMashiach. The more we stay in tune, the more we stay in fellowship, the more we have conversations. Conversations are every day with the Messiah. Have a little talk with Yahshua. Tell him all about your troubles. He will answer your prayer. He's right there. You can begin to feel that fire burn and know that the prayer way is turning. Have a little talk with Yahshua and make it right. Every day, fellowship, it's a must. Don't cheat Yahshua out of his fellowship. Make it a top priority in your daily life, more so now than ever. Yahweh's looking for that commitment, that faithfulness. He's looking for that fellowship with his son, Yahshua. You know, when you think about strength and where you can find strength, there's an understanding that we already have. Paul says, in order that you may know the mystery of Yahweh, namely Yahshua, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I tell you this, so that no one may deceive you by fine-sounding arguments. You know, talk is cheap. People can talk about (coughs) Yahshua, but knowing him and knowing of him is two different things. Having that true experience with the Messiah, accepting him as your personal savior is the first step. Acknowledging that you are a sinner and that you want him to to come into your life and to become your personal savior. Then ask him to fill you with his precious set-aside spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh. That comforter who will come, who will lead you and guide you into all truth. Truth now is more important than ever. It has always been true. Yahshua said, I'm the way. I'm the truth and I'm the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. That knowledge, that understanding the richness, the treasure of knowing who Yahweh is through his son, Yahshua HaMashiach. We gain access to Yahweh through his son. Yahshua wants a personal relationship with all of us. He wants it to be strengthened every day. As Paul gives us Such a powerful message and words of encouragement in this second chapter of Colossians. That your faith will be firm in Yahshua. He said, I'm present with you in spirit and delight to see how orderly you are and how firm your faith in Yahshua is. How firm is your faith in Yahshua? How firm is your confidence? COVID-19 is but one of the many things that's coming down the pike. As I mentioned earlier, the stage is being set for the ushering of martial law. 
the microchip, the cashless society, and many have thought for years that these are all just conspiracy kinds of ideas. But the world is getting ready for a new facelift. The new world order is getting ready to come on board. The new world order of a secular world of a secular mind, not a Yahweh mind. But all these things have been prophesied and talked about in Scripture. At some point, we would like to get into more depth regarding the new world order, martial law, the cashless society, the microchip, the chip, the mark of the beast. And these are things that shouldn't frighten us. These are things that should alert us and let us know that this world that we know those of us who are children of Yahshua and followers of Yahshua, it's not our home. We didn't come here to stay. We're just passing through. This body that we possess now is temporal. This is a temporal, a temporary dwelling place. Yahshua declared, I have gone away to prepare a place for you. And where I am there, you will be with me also. In my father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have not told you. We're going to get a new body. A new home. But in the meantime, we have to develop some principles and some practices. While we're here going through this barren land firmness in faith not shaken steadfast unmovable and always abounding in the works of almighty Yahweh knowing as much that our labor is not in vain I want to encourage you today brothers and sisters to continue to stay firm in your faith Stand on the name of Yahshua. Stand firm on the name of Yahweh. If you haven't received Yahweh's spirit, ask him to come into your heart and to fill you with his Ruach HaKadosh, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, as the spirit will give you utterance to do so. And if you haven't been immersed in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. It is important to remember that you need to go down in the name, be immersed, baptized in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach for the remission of your sins according to Acts 2.38 and afterwards you shall receive the gift of the Ruach HaKadosh. May Yahweh bless you. May heaven continue to smile upon you, my brothers and my sisters. We thank Yahweh for you and hoping that you have received something from his word today that your hearts may be encouraged as you go through your week. Stay prayed up, prayerful. Continue to encourage one another. Yahweh loves you and I love you too. Thank you for this day and for this message. Look down upon all who have received your word today.
bless them and strengthen them right now. Be with them throughout this week. Stand by them, Yahweh. Give ear to their petitions and their supplications. Make ways out of nowhere. Open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that they won't have room to receive. And continue, Yahweh, to send your healing virtue down right now. Bless your people. Strengthen your people. their faith and their confidence, Yahweh, continue to remain firm. That they may trust you and hold fast to your name. Shalom.